Hey guys, it's your boy Trey Cross. What's up, my Trey Scribes? That's what I'm calling you for now. I'm all good and well. I was too lazy to make an intro for this, I'm sorry. But, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is a request how to video tutorial for my friend Sasuke Chidori212. He was asking for a certain effect, and today we're gonna be talking about motion tile. Um, the picture I'm going to be losing today is my favorite superhero. You guessed it, Spider-Man. And if you guessed Batman, something's wrong with you because it's been on the screen for the past how many seconds, I don't know. So, you know, Spider-Man's awesome. He's red, he's red and blue. I was about to say black. I don't know where I get black from. Anyway, he's red and blue. <laughs> and, um, so we're going to be losing him as the effect example to terror. So first, let's put him in a composition called Project. You know, lose whatever superhero. Let's just have fun. Pick whatever superhero. You know, if you want to lose Batman, Superman, Captain Underpants. He was my favorite superhero. I was like six or seven. I thought he was funny. But now it's just goofy. But, you know, if Ammo's your superhero, you know, if Rut Rats are your superhero, you know, just pick whoever's your superhero. Ammo, Winnie the Pooh is my superhero. He was my superhero when I was real young. Really, really young. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to effect. We're gonna go stylize. We're gonna go motion tile. Now motion tile is similar to offset. If you don't know what offset is, you should go check that out. But motion tile ha has more um, power than offset, and you have more things you could do with motion tile. And it's actually maybe like my I think it's my fifth favorite effect out of all Adobe After Effects. I just love losing motion tile and definitely when you combine it with other effects, it's amazing how much results you can get from this one type of effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, motion tile automatically it generates the um, layer that you are losing and generates other frame layers and makes copies of that. So this is the tile center. So if I was to move the tile center, remember your center is wherever you have uh, in the middle of the whole layer. So if I move the um, tile center to the right, or left, can't tell my right from my left, oh gosh, you'll see they actually generated other copies like I said, and we keep going, it's just, it's an everlasting generator, so that's the best thing, it does take a longer time to render, but you'll like it, you'll fall in love with it, once I teach you how to lose it, um, you got tile width and tile height, now, you might be thinking, oh, you can actually take the tile width and tile height and make it longer. There's no reason for it to make it longer. Actually, the tile width and tile height, actually what it does is take the clip and squeeze it to the smallest form until you have different clips. So you might be saying, well, Trey Cross, what do you mean by squeeze it? What does that mean? Well, I'll show you. Go tile width. We're going to click in about 50%, just a random number, as you see on my screen. The tile width have just wished that size and they grade it down to that percentage. As you can see, now we see the other left and right of the width. And if we keep going, it's just going to keep getting smaller and smaller. We're just going to keep seeing it. And after a while, you take it all the way to zero. You have this funny looking fraction noise effect. You know. So you could do something else with that. If you want to have a real clip that shows all the clips and then all of a sudden they just squish together and disappear. You know, like those TV screens, when you turn up the TV, it goes, and it goes off. So we'll take that back to about 50. We're going to do the same thing with tilt height, tile height. And as you see, now it's making these cool square bots. It looks like those TV screens when you see in the um, commercials or movies where it's multiple screens of the same person doing something. So you could do like that. You know, it might not be the exact same thing, but, you know, it's worth looking now the output width and the output height is not exactly the same as the tail width. I don't even know why they put that there, but maybe just to save us time. I really don't like it, but everybody, you know, has their own. This is not even my program, so they could do whatever the heck they want. But I hardly ever lose it. But this actually squeezed. Besides squeezing the clip, it actually squeezed down the sides of the layer. As you can see, it disappears. So when I squeeze down the width. You can actually choose if you want to have, you know, just the clip opening, just showing that, and slowly it opens and closes. The same thing with the height up and down. You know, I already don't understand that, but that's what it does. It's like it's like the um, linear whip. It's one of the transitions where you just go up and it just closes. It's like the jaws. I think that's what it's called. 
something like that. And it's just in there. But I don't know why the reason is in there, honestly. But, you know, I'm not going to fuss about it. I still love motion tile. Um, mirrors ed edges, if you click it, it's actually making a reflection of that layer. So as you see on my screen. Spider-Man is actually facing Spider-Man. And actually, that's, a cool, that's pretty cool right there. That could be somebody's background, you know. Just we just created this awesome by mistake, you know. That's the great thing about After Effects. You'd be doing stuff, and you'll try to do something, and you fail at it, and then you'll find out that you did something else that you thought was cool, you know. Don't we all do that? Maybe it's just me. I'm just that epic that I fail at something else, but produce something greater. Anybody else? No. Fine. Nobody wants to answer that. Fine. I'll just be the only epic person in the world. So that's what Mirror Edges does. It just reflects that clip all around four base circles. So I'm gonna unclick that. And remember, if you put, like I said, motion tile takes a long time, longer time to render the other effects. And if you put Mirror Edges, it does take a longer time too. This actually is pretty cool because it actually has a phase. It will actually rotate the not the central clip. If that makes sense. Not the central layer, but the layer around the. I guess that doesn't really make sense, I guess. I'm trying to be more specific. As in, if you take a video game. No, that's right. Girls might be watching this. Well, maybe they do play video games. Not all of them, though. Okay, let's say if you take an apple. And there's three of them. The one in the center does not move at all. Only the apples on the, out, on the right and the left. That's not in the center moves. And you can change that in all directions, but the apple in the middle does not move at all. It doesn't move. Why am I always losing fruit as an example? I don't know. So you can't move the apple in the center, but you can move the other two apples that's not in the center. That's just how it is. I don't know why I did that. I guess to make it look cool, like as in it's flipping. Okay, as you see, the center is actually rotating. That's pretty funny. That's because... We have moved the tile center over here, but this is the tile center. We move that near the center again. As you can see, those the center is being still, but the outside apples are not being still. Oh, the outside tiles. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can do the same way if you do it horizontally by clicking this. The phase shift. Yeah, those are those cool things where you'll see people, you know, have, to, have the clips go up and down, left and right, and it's multiple clips at the same time. Pretty cool. Um, the biggest thing about all the effects is you always want to think outside the box. You want to think smarter than Adobe After Effects. I know you might be thinking, how can I think smarter than Adobe After Effects? You know, I asked the same question. I never found an answer. Until today. No, I'm just joking. I better find that answer. But you want to think outside the box. You're thinking, well, you know, that's pretty cool, but what if I want to do something else with it? Actually, I'm going to show you a trick real quick. How you can make these, you know how you'll have outline borders. I'm going to show you something. We're going to actually pre-compose the Spider-Man. So we'll put, click Control shift c on Windows and Command-Shift-C on the Mac. We'll call this Source. Type in Source. And make sure you move all attributes into the new composition. If you leave all attributes in Spider-Man 2, then it won't work and it'll look funny. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is double click on the source composition. We're going to take Spider-Man, because he's the man. Upside down, hanging around. Y'all heard that song? I'm advertising how it should have ended, Spider-Man. Yeah. We're going to delete the motion tile. I didn't mean to bring the motion tile on this. And we're actually going to take down the scale just a little bit so we get these black lines around Spider Man. Because he's Spider Man. What if Spider Man was black? That would be cool. Or would it? I don't know. What if he's Asian? Oh, snap. That would be tight. What if he's Japanese? He'd be like a samurai Spider Man. Oh, that would be awesome. We'll be doing Kung Fu. Okay, I'm off topic again. Anyway, so we're going to change the um, tile width and tile height. And slowly as you see, as we take it down, 
we actually have created this our own border around the Spider-Man. Spider-Man. No, I am not obsessed with Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, so there we go. That's a simple trick. You can actually rotate that too. No. You can also go here to the source composition. Press the rotation just a little bit. Take the scale up so it can fit the composition. And you'll have this cool film look as in you see like the film are moving and stuff. Simple stuff like that. So you know if we were to change the color, let's go here and um click control Y on the Windows, control um command Y on Mac. We'll change the um color to white. Or just create a new quick solid real quick. I'm trying to show you something before my time go out. I think my time been up. I can't tell time anyway. Even though I'm the best at math. Make sure that layer is behind the Spider-Man layer. Sorry for those who are beginners that should be watching this video, but you know, sometimes you just gotta skip ahead and get somewhere, you know? Like being the president. Now we have these cool whiteboards. I really don't like that. That looks ugly. But you know, that's just giving you guys some idea. So like I said, mix up some motion tiles, mix, it, mix up different effects, and you'll have cooler, awesome outputs, you know, things like that. Put some noise and stuff like that, fraction noise and things like that. Well, guys, it's your boy Trey Cross. I'm glad to give you tutorials. So, Sasuke Chidori212. I hope you learned something from this. You know, got any questions, y'all comment below. I'm sorry if I can't answer all y'all comments real fast, but I'll do my best. And please, I really beg you guys to subscribe if you're watching this, but I also beg you actually ask questions. You know, so you, you understand and give me some requests that you want me to go over, and I'll do my best to get it in at a certain time, six to seven days is the guarantee I can give you. Alright, well, this is your boy Trey Cross. I say peace out.